Now you have your keywords and have developed a search string, you now need to think about where you need to go to look for the papers you need. There's a temptation to just search in one database for the things you need. It's quick and easy and surely you'll find everything you need there. Except it's a bit more complicated than that. In many cases, you will find your research area covers multiple subjects. So, for example, you may be looking for literature on organisational psychology, and so you will need to look at business databases like Business Source Complete, as well as psychology databases like PsychInfo. There is no single database you can use that will provide everything you need. All the databases will have some overlap, You'll find the same journals popping up in different databases, but there is no one database that covers all of them. For that reason, it's important to identify all databases that may be relevant and go to search each of them. It's also important to know that whilst Google Scholar can be a valuable tool, it does have its limitations, particularly in terms of filtering the search results and navigate into the articles that will be key to you. It's an important resource to use, but it shouldn't really be used in isolation. And you also should ensure that if you do use it, you connect it to the library catalogue. See the video in the link above for more information.